Welcome to the Mastercars Pro channel. Today we will talk about the problems and weaknesses of this wonderful car. We are starting with the power units as usual. The XV50 Toyota Camry has a wide engine range from 2 liter 145 horsepower 1AZ FE before 2014 and 150 horsepower 6AR FCE after 2014 to 1.5 liter 150. 80 to 200 horsepower 2ARFE and 2.5 liter 249 to 272 horsepower 2GRFE gas engines. All the engines are reliable and do not have major troubles. 1AZ is a very widespread and efficient engine. Thread disruption while repainting cylinder head is common to these engines. So do not remove cylinder head if not required. This problem results in coolant leakages on the back section of cylinder block and engine overheating. Crankshaft bearing seal may have leaks and high vibration levels observed at 300 to 700 rpm. High vibration at idle rpm is special to this engine. Vibration level can be increased by injector, idle rpm valve, EGR system, may AP sensor or engine mount failures. Soot sediments can accumulate in the intake, so the manifold and throttle body need to be cleaned. If cleaning does not help, check VVTI or lambda sensor. FSE motors with direct injection are sensitive to bad fuel, so injection pump and injector failure is quite possible. Timing chain does not need replacement in 200 to 250 of kilometers. Engine resource is more than 300,000 kilometers if maintained properly. 6AR FCE engine is a quite durable power supply. Minor problems are strong vibrations at low temperatures, water pump little lifetime about 50 to 60,000 km and chain bending at 150,000 km. 2AR engine is the most durable of what you can find in XV50 Camry. Minor water pump coolant leakages and VVTI knocks occur. VVTI vein replacement can help reducing noise. But this problem will return in a short time. Regularly maintained engine will be operating efficiently for hundreds of thousands of kilometers. Engine construction does not provide usage of repair pistons. It can be resleeved though. The most powerful 2JR FE was also reliable, but aggressive driving made most of the engines ready for repairs. High fuel consumption, about 15 to 17 liters, however, is one of few engine disadvantages. VVTI vane can produce knocking sounds at engine starts that are special for GR series, as well as engine overheat risk. Engine overheat results in compression ratio reduction. Water pump should be replaced every 50 to 70,000 km. Ignition coil upsets can occur. Timing chain flexes at 200,000 km. It is strongly recommended to check timing chain and tensioners on used cars. XV50 Camry was aggregated with 4- and 6-speed auto transmissions. 4-speed one worked with 2-liter engines. It is just as reliable as the engines are. Shifting delays are the only things to deal with. But 6-speed auto has major reliability problems. Kicks appear at 40 to 60,000 km. Noise and vibrations can be detected at 80 to 100,000 km. Torque converter replacement can be required. If the car has run out of insurance, Prepare 500 euros to deal with this component. Bad maintenance can result in other components' excessive wear. This automatic transmission can operate for 250 to 350,000 km with regular maintenance. Paint job is one of the weakest places of XV50 Camry. Coat layer is 50 to 75 microns thinner than on the previous model. 100 to 120 microns are common for this generation. Hood becomes abrasive damage at low mileages, so it is probably repainted on most Camrys. Suspension is one of the most durable on this vehicle class and had worked for 100,000 km without causing any major problems. Suspension bushings lose flexibility at low temperatures and start producing knocking noises. Torsion bar mounts and links give up at 50 to 80,000 km. Front shock absorbers are done at 120 to 150,000 km, rear ones at 200,000 km at medium loads. Other front suspension components can work till 200,000 km. Rear suspension trailing arm bushings get cracked at 100 to 120,000 km. 
Control arm bushings can operate for 150 to 200,000 km. Suspension mounting balls often get corroded and could be sewn off if required. Interior trim, ergonomics and materials are suitable for this vehicle class. Some complaints took place anyway. Monochromatic climate control panels look cheap and is in dissonance with the whole interior and multimedia color display. Front seat filler weakness makes seats lose shape at 70 to 90,000 km, arm support can break due to fragility. Plastic seat carcass is broken on the most of used cars. It is not a critical issue but causes expenses. Squeaks and steering wheel can be removed by contact group replacement. Interior ventilation does not work properly, so vapors can condense on the roof panel. Parking assist sensor upsets also occur. Parking assist sensor malfunction is caused by dirtiness. Well, if you are the owner of this car, then please describe the problems that you had to face during the operation of the car. Perhaps it is your feedback that will help viewers when choosing a car. That's it for today. Thanks everyone for attention. It isn't much work for you to subscribe to the channel. See you soon.